grace that he has granted me to speak on women's program. I pray as I'm standing, please don't look at me. I'm just a vessel. I open my mouth for God to speak through me. Don't see me as a little woman speaking. But I want, to, I want you to look at Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. And I believe at the end of it all, you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you for this opportunity. May you be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, this is the grand finale of Women's Program. My topic this morning says in the midst of the fire. In the midst of the fire. Bible reading was read to us from the book of Daniel chapter 3, verse 15 to 30. I will not go back to the reading. It has been read to us. And many of us we are familiar with this story. The story of Nebuchadnezzar. The God of Shedra, Resha, and Abednego. Praise the Lord. Introduction. Fire often symbolizes trials and challenges in our life. But it also represents God's presence and purpose. As we, as we delve into the topic, let's remember that even in our midst, in our most difficult moments, God is the source, refining us for His glory. Praise the Lord. Brethren, in a time like this, in a time like this in Nigeria, people are running a test Do you know that? When God is about to test you as his own son, as his own daughter, difficulty, difficulties will come. How do you manage your difficulties? Many of us will feel that God has forgotten us. But if you can endure to the end of that trial, do you know that there is a glorious situation ahead of you? Brethren, this morning I pray, if you have not been listening to God, if in your trials you have not kept to God, this morning I urge you, stay, stay perfect with God. He will see you through in the name of Jesus. Amen. God's presence in trials. Let's begin with the story of Shedrach and Meshach and Abednego. In Daniel 3, 16 to 10. This young man faced a life or death situation for amazing faith in God. When commanded to bow to the king of Nebuchadnezzar for this task, they boldly replied, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this manner. If this be so, our God, who, serve, who we serve, is able to deliver us in the morning, very corner. Praise Master Jesus. When you look at these three men, they make confidence they were faced with death. You know, when the president of a nation gathered the whole uh, members and said, if you fail to bow down to this God, which I serve, you will be put to death with immediate effect. Praise Master Jesus. This man, they were bold enough. Why? They believe in the God they serve. You are a Christian. People are watching you. Do you know that in the midst of crowds, people identify Shedra, Mesha, and Abednego. They went and reported to the king that, okay, three men, three men were stand when you said to the bar. How confident are you in your God? Are you just saying, my mouth, I'm a daughter of Zion, I have faith in God? Brethren, when you are faced with tough situation, how do you manage it? Like example of Shedra and uh, they were so confident in their God. And at the end of it all, God saw them through. Truly, they were thrown in, in the middle of the fire. But the first, the first person, which is the Holy Spirit, caused that fire that was so people, people that threw them into the fire, they were consumed by the fire. But God came down. Because why? They have confidence in God. How confident are you in your God? When you are faced with such, such situations, do you run excess theater? Do you go from one pastor to the other? Do you go to friends and take wrong advice? This person is telling us that you should stay perfect in your God. Never relent any situation. God 
say it in his word. He said he is testing you. Praise Master Jesus. As you do so, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. They trusted God completely, knowing that even if he did not save them, they will remain faithful. As they were thrown into the furnace, a miraculous event of all. A poor people appear with them. God present in fire. God present in fire. A man on arm. Praise the Lord. They were afraid that our trials can be placed, can be a place where encounter God's power. In that trial, God said he's trying. But many of us we fail people. Praise Master Jesus. Like a time like this in Nigeria, people are running SS as a brethren. Many to stop it again. But God is promising you, as a daughter of Zion, as a son of the Lord, if you stand fast with the Lord, He will see you through in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. 
that you should not relent. Be steadfast in me, and we call to you. Praise the Lord. As you do so, the Lord will see you in the name of Jesus. Overcome fear and doubt. When you are in a difficult situation, why? Fear will set in. Doubt will set in. Can my God say to me? But from the passage we read, this man never doubted. They are being dead, dead to death, taking their lives. They said this with them, you will not bow down to your body. Oh, you will not bow down. They call me by faith. If I perish, I perish, I will not bow down to your body. And what end is it? But at the end, God saw them through. Pray, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2, he said, God has shown us, fear not for I have redeemed you. Praise the Lord. Please, media, give us Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2. Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 to 2, media. through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be born. Amen. Lord shall be made for you. Praise the master Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is a chapter that you need to hold on to. He says, trials will come, but when you pass it through the water, I will be with you. And what you want to say is, it is written in your Bible. He said, when you pass it through the fire, he will be with you. Those fire will not consume you. When you are passing through difficulties, remember to pray. Remember to call on God. It's not a time for you to be running endless theater from one altar to another presence. It is for you to remember that the Lord says, when you pass it through the water, I will be with you. When you pass it through the fire, the fire will not consume you. I want you to so much courage this morning and hold on to this chapter. This says, whenever you pass it through this body, it's always with you. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This was we remind us that God's presence is constant. According to 1 Peter chapter 1, chapter 1, verse 5. So the first Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Please, give that kindly project. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. First Peter 5, 7. He said, casting all your care upon him, he careth for you. Brethren, do you cast your care on man? Do you cast your care on pastor? When you are going through a lot, who do you cast your care on? Look at this verse. He said, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. When you are in a situation, when there is no way, who do you cast your care on? Who do you run to? When you run to them, they will disappoint you. They will promise you today, they will say, come back tomorrow. That thing you need, I will surely give it to you. Reverend, when you go, they will surely pay you. But when you remain, when you, when you remain separate from God, in truth and in spirit, you call upon Him, in the midst of fire, He will see you through the name of Jesus. We may walk through this very trial, for he promises that he will not consume us. When facing fears, we can we can agree to the, to the truth that God is with us. He has walked through the fire before us and will guide us through our challenges. God was in that fire. God was in that fire. As a daughter of Zion. As the children of God, remain with God, no matter the situation that He cannot solve. According to the Word of God, in Isaiah, Isaiah 41, verse 10, please read the guiding project. Isaiah 41, 
Verse 10. He said, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not in despair, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will oppose you with my righteous right hand. Praise Master Jesus. Brethren, these are all what God has promised us. He said you should fear not. Don't allow the doubt and fear to step into your situation. He has promised you. I know we are humans. Blood flows through us. Sometimes fear might want to send in. That to look at that situation. Ah, no, I don't have to do My children, they have gone to school. I don't even know what they will do. Can this be possible? No, God said this in his word, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, that I should fear not. He will, he, he will be with me. For when we should let by three, they will be back. What would they have to do? That is a doubt. You are doubted. That will never not come to pass. But when you, when, when you have that faith, like shed that pleasure can affect you. That says, no, my children will come back. They will not go hungry. They will have that food to you. You will see God step into that situation. And to begin to begin this money, your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If, if God will say, hope and restoration. Hope and restoration. Now, now meet the family project, first Peter chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. 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 He said, In this you greatly rejoice. Don't now for a little while. If need be, you have grieved by various trials. You can hear that. Yes. Praise Master Jesus. He said, the genuineness of your faith be much more precious than gold that perishes. God is tested by fire. May be found, may be found praise, honor, glory, and glory as the revelation of Jesus Christ. Present, this is a verse telling you that you should be steadfast in God. Praise Master Jesus. That you should not lose hope. As you do so, continue to rejoice when you are in a situation. In a hard situation, rejoice. Praise God. Because that is what God cannot give to Himself. When you praise Him, when you call Him name, He will arise on His throne. He will say, My daughter is praising me. Oh, my son, if He needs me. I will get up for His food. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Him when you are in a situation. Call on His name. Call His sweet name. And if He said to heaven, and it's many, as a sweet many servants, the Lord will arise on His throne for your sake. He will arise this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our trials are temporary. Yes. It's not for a long time. It's for a short while. If you can endure, if you can endure praying, you will gloriously praise God. It's for a while. He is testing you. In a time like this, this is a perilous time. People are running at the scatter. People are deviating from the way of the Lord. How are you, brothers and sisters? Are you among those that are running at the scatter? Are you, that are, are you among those that are seeking for the help of friends that will promise you today to go up and pay you? Are you among those that are relying on pastors instead of Jesus? Present is for a while. That is what God is telling you this morning. It won't be long. It is for a while. Never you relent. Never you relent. Stay step up with God. As you do so, the Lord will see you through in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is temporary. But they produce eternal reward. At the end of it, you will see 
The suffering we enjoy is a need for a faith that shines brightly in the world that desperately needs hope. As we navigate our fire, we must remember that they are not in vain. Present, you are coming to church, seeking for the face of God is never in vain. Never, never look for grace. It's never in vain. They don't see it in the world that smears in the secret and in the open. When you are crying in your closet, it's seeing you. When you speak other way wrong, it's seeing you. He has promised you that fear not, for I am with you. Be not with his name, for I am your God. Brethren, this morning the Lord will see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. In conclusion, as we conclude, let us summarize the key, the key point. God's presence in trial. God says in your trial, He is present. Praise Master Jesus. Fire serves as a purifier. When you are in the midst of fire, God is purifying you. So that you will return to Him. Praise Master Jesus. Like our God today, we appreciate. It goes through a lot. Like I told you. God that we all love today goes through a lot. If someone said, when you see God in raw material, you hate it so much. Yes, it's so ugly, so ugly, not appreciating at all. But when it goes through the fire, it becomes a Jesus. As you allow God to go through you, that, that situation, that you needed God, He will come through for you in the name of Jesus. He says, we can overcome fear through His promises. That is, when you fear not, when you doubt not. And our suffering leads to hope and restoration. Brethren, our hope in God is for restoration. Praise Master Jesus. It's for hope and restoration. I pray as you have heard the word of God this morning, your life will turn around for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. That fire you are going through, that difficult situation, the Lord will turn it around in the name of Jesus. Amen. Call to action. I invite each of you to reflect on your own struggle. Reflect on your struggle. Bring them before God. Bring every situation before God. He will see you too. He's the only one that never disappoints. He says he will make a way in the wilderness. And water will flow in your desert in the name of Amen. Jesus. Seek, seek his presence in the fire and allow him to work in your life. Let us support one another in the faith. Brethren, we are all children of God. We are all Christians. When your brother goes to meet you for one week or the other, never mock him for her. He or she might be passing through a trial. How do you manage that situation? Throw him or her together. Encourage her. Help her. If it is a monetary aspect, the little one you can afford, show love to one another. As you do so, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. He says, No, Knowing that together we can emerge from this fire stronger and more faithful. We all will come out shining from our trials in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the fire of God passes through all this morning, our life will continue to glitter for Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us rise and begin to magnify the name of the Lord. See if you can relate. It's not hard to understand that you are today. Maybe in 2010, your life was somehow. But today, I want you to relate. How far has your life to give? And at the time, you were suffering before. But now, things are getting better for you. It is the Lord's doing that you are not consumed in that, that situation. It is the Lord's doing. Many ways that you are passing through, many passing through today, they are no more. The 
punish you today, you are no more. I'm a testimony today. The same way I found it true. Brethren, me that was declared dead, but the Lord punish you. I saw dead with my eyes, but the Lord stood by me. Brethren, I want you to hold on to that God. Since then, I never relent on God. I continue to have faith in God. Brethren, the same way I found it true. Many found it true, they are no more. I'm a testimony. In application of his glory, yeah, I am a testimony. Never you be left in any situation. God will see you through. In any situation that you are passing through, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I want you to pray to God. You are going to say, Lord, break a wall, a wall of fire. Break a wall of fire. Between me and my sin. Between me and my sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is the only thing that will make God not to come to your rescue. Thank God to use fire to demarcate you. You are your sin. Brethren, if you are if you have anything hidden from God, He cannot see you through. If you are sinful, if you are still putting hands into sin, there is no way God can see you through. You are going to say the Lord will prove a demarcation between you and your sin. Begin to pray that the Lord will separate you and your sin this morning. And he will see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord our Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Amen.